Okay guys, y'all are coming along with us as we head to our 1700s permission and we're gonna see if we can find some artifacts. It's been raining here for the last four days. So hopefully this ground's gonna be electrified uh, because of all of that rain and these targets are just gonna start jumping out at us. Um, but it should be a great hunt. Uh, this site was originally started in 1740. We know that the gentleman that lived here was a strong supporter of the American Revolution. Uh, hopefully there's gonna be a lot of targets in the ground that are just gonna jump out at us. So uh, we're gonna see what we can find. Um, again, Francis Marion might have even been in this area. We know that we found a Continental Army uh, USA button. Uh, we found a British Rev War button uh, not too far from this site as well. So tons and tons of things of Revolutionary War history uh, have been found here. Uh, again, we believe this was an old home site and uh, possibly could have been a tavern maybe. Um, we're not real sure, but uh, we're gonna see what we can find today with this ground being electrified. We've got the Mine Lab Mana Core. We're gonna be running the M9 coil on the Mana Core. Uh, we're gonna be running our custom ferrous limits, all terrain low conductors. We're gonna be running our sensitivity at 19. Our reactivity or recovery gonna be at five. Uh, we've got our stabilizer turned on to one and uh, we're gonna see what we can find with it. We've been real lucky with that setup out here and I think today's gonna be just another good day with that setup again. So we'll catch you guys on our first find. Thanks for coming along for the adventure. And if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it and hope you enjoy the hunt. We'll see you soon. Okay, we got, let's turn this volume on for you guys. We got, A 45-44, and we got some iron. Y'all can hear, y'all can hear this iron over here. But then we got this 45-48-47, and that's a good sound. It's bleeding a little bit. Looks like there might be more than one target here. Hopefully, it's not falsing because this ground is. It's really wet today from all the rain that we've had. But let's see what happens here. Y'all see it? 49. It's a little bit all over the place. So not real sure what this is gonna be. Um And we got a, looks like we got us a big old piece of lead. Big flat piece of lead. Hoping there might be something on this. But it is a flattened out piece of lead. And uh, that's all I can tell you about it. You guys can see it. It was a big piece of lead, whatever. Okay, we got a 34, 33. It's ringing up just below our center line. It's got a pretty good paint to it. And that's a 34, 35. Let's see what this is gonna be. Um, could be a shotgun shell. That's what the shotgun shell range is usually out here too. So, but I didn't hear, I didn't hear a lot of iron mixed in with that. Usually I can tell a little bit on the shotgun shells. Sometimes I get fooled, uh, but I didn't hear, I didn't hear a lot of that mixed in with that. Let's see if we, uh, see if we got it out once we opened up this hole. Got a 3536 here. 3334 here. So should be looks good. Sounds like a button. Let's see what kind of button it's gonna be if it is. And it is a button. 
it's a small pewter button I believe or is it brass it's brass Tom back uh, looking to see if there's anything on it that little button was really you guys can hear this ground is wet so it's really making these targets really sound off here you guys can see it got us a small little uh, cuff button shirt button I believe but there you go so we got us a button and we're just gonna keep walking through this area again with this ground being wet uh, this manicore will really hit on these targets okay guys we got a 41 42 there are two targets here there's one on the dead center and there's one on the upper ferris limit and it's a 42 it's a good sound man it's humid out here we've had a lot of rain but the humidity is off the charts see what this turns out to be it's gonna be a good one I think I hope Let's see if we got it out still in there let's open it up a little more see if that's it Huh, now it's changed on me, guys. So I don't think it could have been a false. Could have been a false. Still showing two targets. Let's see what we get here. Sorry guys. Looks like. Let's see what we got here. Well, we got a nail for sure. So that's out. What else was in there, though? Let's see if we can, uh... Let's see if we can find something else. Let's see if that was... And it's showing something. Did I miss it? Look at there. There was a button hiding in there with it. So there was a nail. And we got a button. And the shank has been mashed on it. Looking to see if we see anything on it. don't think there's anything on it we'll clean it up and see but anyway yeah so y'all saw that there were two targets in there one was a nail and one was this this button one was ringing up in the upper ferris and one was ringing dead on the center line so that told us that uh, there was so we just dug this button but look at all the design on this button this button's loaded with design really cool looking design on it um you guys i don't know if y'all can see that well or not but yeah we got a lot of design going on on this button so there we go all right we'll catch you guys real soon
nice early definitely 1700s but Okay, we got we got a low one here, 16, 15. We got a good paint with it. We're gonna dig it because of where we're at. And you just never know what those 16, 17s could turn into. So we're gonna dig that and see what we get. Um, let's see here. We got it opened. See if it's make sure still there but now it sounds like iron let's see let's see what this is going to be interesting signal got this not sure what that is 1617 melted lead possibly let's see what it does now it's still there guys so there that that was actually masking that that was actually masking that see here it's still there and it's showing us round circular object sorry guys let's see what we got Ha, look at there. There it is. It was hiding. So 1617. That one was all over the place. That's why you gotta dig those. This button, although it doesn't have anything on it, it's an old tom back. You guys can see it. It's got the, the big dimple on the back with the shank on it. Uh, but there you go. So that was interesting because that had some other things in the hole with it. Okay, guys, I love hearing this sound. Listen to this. So we got a 6261. Got a nice looking paint on it. Let's hope we can get lucky on it. Let's hope it's the coin we've been looking for. It's good paint. And the core definitely locked in on that one too. Let's see if we got it out. 61, 62. Come on. Huh. Let's get our pinpointer out. Let's see what we get here. We got it. And it's a big old dandy button. Big old dandy button. Why couldn't it have George Washington on it? <laughs> yeah. Nice big dandy. And again, these are all colonial buttons. This one doesn't appear to have anything on it still a nice button look how big that thing is about the size of a half dollar and um, y'all heard that when that was ringing up loud and proud 61 62 and uh, it wasn't playing around man locked in on it 
Again, this site was founded in 1740. So, first home site was here in 1740. So, I, I'm just positive all of these buttons are from the 1740s. We do have this target out. And we got us a little button. A little small button. Boy, these things are loud. With this soil being wet and damp like that, look at that. There it is. These buttons are sounding like they're right on top of the ground and they're not. But again, another button to add to it. All right, GoPro stop recording. Okay, we got us another low one here, 15. And we got a good paint with it on the manacord screen. It's right on our center line. So we're definitely digging it. And we'll see what we get here. We got a... I don't know what this is. A small piece of lead of some sort okay we got us a good number here 28 29 showing a perfect circle just above the center line with the mana core so let's see let's see if we can get lucky felt a piece of brick or root right there there's a look at that right there look at that brick pretty cool uh, let's see if we got this out where's it at huh don't hear it hopefully it's in the hopefully it's in the bottom of the hole it's another piece of brick look at there all right it's down here let's see if we can we can pull it out and that scoop for That's not it, is it? Something else in here. That was a nail. Let's see what else we got. Man. If we got it this time. We got it out, guys. And it is a button. Nothing on it. Look at there, though. That nail was laying in there with that, too. Shows you how good these settings are at unmasking. The shank has been in on this one. I was looking to see if I saw anything on this. Don't think I do. But again, we'll take another button. Okay, we got a 51 here. This one's interesting. It's got a nice high pitch to it. Ah. It's the old rifle casing. Okay, we got a 22-23 here. And uh, this one's painting really, really good. Again, 1700 sight. We dug some trash today, which uh, is unusual out here. We got a piece of lead. 
exactly what it is. Okay, GoPro stop recording. Okay, we just got this opened up. We got a 4647 here. This was a pretty deep target too. And guys, such a piece of uh I think it's no, I don't know if that's a piece of aluminum or not okay we just had us a brief little rain shower but we got a target here we just pulled out 4142 right here and we know what it is it's the old shotgun shell all right, we got a 49 that was ringing up on the mana core. We can. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. Looky, looky. And we got us a half real oh my goodness spanish half real and we just popped that out of the ground i was not thinking and that's why i didn't have my camera on while we were digging i was not thinking that that's what i was going to get and uh this was ringing up a 50 58 59 there we go. I was trying to see if I can get a date off of it. Well, we're doing the silver dance. The mana core locked in on this. Let's see what the, the actual ID is of the Spanish half real. It's a 61 is what it was showing up. And there we go. Spanish half real. Cannot believe that. I don't see, I can't see the date off of it. 61, it was ringing up a, a 48. It was bouncy, it was sort of strange. So of course I am using all-terrain low conductors. So uh, that might have, might have caused it to give me sort of a weird, a weird sound. But yeah, we got us a piece of Spanish silver. Cannot believe that. And again, this is a 1700 site. Dates all the way back to 1740. And, um, you know, this just proves it. It's a lot going on here. I'm getting eat up by mosquitoes. And uh, we just got through with a big rain shower. And I decided I'd come back out one more time. See if I could find any other coins. It's amazing. So, we're going to take that. And we're close to wrapping up our day. But we might, might hunt just a little bit longer. That looks piece of spanish silver sort of gets you fired up especially when you find it right at the end of your hunt so we might look a little bit longer and see if we can find another one and uh we'll let you guys know but here we go spanish half real all right okay we got a 19 right here we got a good paint. We just dug that Spanish half real. So that sort of got us fired up. We haven't dug one of those in the last few months. We actually dug it not far from where we dug this last one. So, yep. And there's some roots right here. Oh, God, those roots are tough. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut through these roots. Here, see what we get. Piece of wood. Piece of wood. See what we get here. See if we can get this out of the hole. This might be our last. This might be our last hole. We got a 20 now. Let's 
getting late. And I think we got us another button. And we do. It's a nice high quality button. Nothing on it. Shank is bent back on it. But still, love digging buttons. That one locked in at a 18, 19, 20 in that range. About the size of a dime, a little bit smaller. But we'll take that. We might try one more hole, and then I think it's time to head out. Manicore and the M9 Cool has done a great job out here today. And we've battled through the rain, and it's been fun. We got, we got a 36, 37 painting up on the center. Painting up on that center line. Now this is the shotgun shell range. And uh, let's hope, let's hope that it's in a shotgun shell. We'll see, we'll see soon enough. Have I got something? We'll see soon enough what we got here. Thirty-five, thirty-six. Let's see what this is. And we got a button. We got us a button. Nothing on it. High quality. Got some great patina to it. Really green patina. I love those. But anyway, yeah. So we got us a button. Manicore locked in on it really well. Alright, we're going to call it a day. We dug quite a few buttons. We dug a Spanish half real. <laughs> A nice big dandy button so we've dug a lot of stuff so stay tuned for the wrap up and thanks for coming along for the event okay welcome to the wrap up look here we have got all of our fine spread out here first one here is this big huge dandy button check that one out still got the nice big shank on the back and I really love this button this button's got a lot of design on it I don't know if you can see that in the video but uh, yeah it's got tons of design on it which makes it really really cool and then we got a couple of just regular flat buttons here we got that one and this one this one's a high quality button it's sort of thick um, and then we got a thin one here we got another thin one here as well still got the shank sort of face down and then of course the find of the day is of course this 1774 spanish half real and you guys can see it there it's in pretty good shape and you can see the back of it on there as well and we were running our mine lab manicore over here with the m9 coil and still got it turned on sensitivity at 19 our custom ferrous limits uh, this place was loaded with iron too as you guys can see it's still cloudy here we've been dealing with a tropical storm and i was able to get out and do some hunting out in this field and in the woods and we were rewarded quite well here with all of these finds. I was only out here for about two and a half hours. So uh, it was a lot of fun and hope you guys enjoy the video and hopefully you will check us out on some other videos as well. Check out our content on Southern Relic Adventures. And if you haven't already, again, hit that like and subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. And we will catch you guys soon on our next adventure. Bye.